In this video, I just want to quickly take you through the main dashboard features. On the left sidebar, you will find all of your assets and templates divided by categories. Let's start with the templates. You can navigate through each category until you find something that you like. Then, you can add it to your favourites by clicking on the heart icon or open it in the editor, which we'll see in another video. As for the video assets, you can preview how the animation looks like by hovering the mouse pointer over the thumbnail. When you see one that you like, you can mark it as a favourite with the heart icon or you can download the asset to your computer as a MOV file with transparent background or MP4 with green or blue background. On the top menu, you will find the next options. Your favourites folder where you can access any templates or assets you have previously marked as favourite. You can remove them from here by clicking on the heart icon again. Your templates folder, where you will find all of your edited templates. For now, just keep in mind that here you can reopen the template for further editing, create a copy, or just delete it. In this video, I want to show you how to use the editor on a basic level. When you click on one of the template thumbnails, it will load inside the editor. To edit the texts, start by clicking the T icon on the left and select the text by dragging the cursor over it. As you can see, you can pretty much type anything you want in any text font picked from the options here. You can select bold, italics and so on if the font has the option and change the size, color and alignment. Once you are done, Click on the green check button. If you make a mistake, you can always undo any action by pressing Ctrl plus Z on the keyboard, or Command plus Z if you're on a Mac. Or go to the edit menu and use the undo redo options. Layers are the ways how we can organize our image easily and smartly. Every element on the design is a layer. We can see how many of them we have, the hierarchy, meaning that they are stacked in a certain way and if they're grouped into a folder. You can hide or show any layer with the eye icon or just delete it with the trash icon down here. You can also rename the layers and drag to reorder them in any way you want. Top, bottom, stack them how you like to make the image you want. If you want to move the text or any other element, select the move tool here on the left Make sure that the layer you want to move is selected and drag the element to the position you want. Additionally, you can use the auto select mode up here with the move option selected. However feels more comfortable to you. You can resize any selected element by dragging and dropping from these square nodes like this. If you keep the shift key on your keyboard pushed while you resize the image, it will keep the proportions. To rotate a selected element, position the cursor near the edge until the cursor changes to the rotation icon and move up or down. Once you are done with rotation and resize, remember to confirm the actions by clicking on the green check icon. To add any of your own images from your computer, simply drag and drop the files inside the canvas, like this. As you can see, a new layer has been created. Resize, position and reorder it just like any other layer. Once you are happy with your design, you can download a copy as PNG or JPEG. Go to the file menu at the top and export as PNG or JPEG. If you want to save your work for further edits or to use it as a template, go to File and click on Save. You can access your saved designs later at any time in the Your Template section of the platform. 